Hello everyone on Patreon. I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys don't mind that I am doing readings in my car, but this is just one of the ways that I figure would help me make more videos for you guys because that's my plan. Ever since I started doing some of these readings, I've been connecting to you guys a lot more and I really love that because it helps me channel the messages that are appropriate and the most helpful for you. Wow, it's 9.55 just as I looked at the clock and then it was 33 seconds that I've been recording. So I'm already seeing so many synchronicities every time that I do something for you guys. So it helps me feel like we on the right track. So Spirit is telling me that a lot of you guys are having some of your gifts come online. And I want to... Okay, so this was supposed to just be for my patreon but spirit was just telling me to share it on youtube so i'll put this on youtube and if you're on my patreon i will uh go in depth with you <clears throat> about unlocking your gifts activating your gifts and seeing what you have online because a lot of you guys i'm getting that you guys are getting downloads i don't know if some of you guys know that they're downloads but they are just gonna go ahead and let spirit talk to us to see what we got going on this is going to be for your spiritual development for those of you who um have gifts if you're watching this you have some sort of psychic gig let's just put that out there you have some sort of psychic abilities that are coming online or that you're becoming aware of so you ready to tap in the first message that you have it says calling cards from heaven a lot of you guys may be seeing feathers dragonflies butterflies ladybug very spiritual animals your loved ones are never more than a thought away they're always around you sending you little signs like breadcrumbs on your path Remember, your loved ones know how to get your attention. It could be a song on the radio, a cardinal perched on the windowsill, or a feather. <coughs> <coughs> Even synchronicities and other animal spirits and symbols. Learn to trust those first instincts. Your loved ones and guides want you to know when they're around. In the practice of mediumship, you can reach out and ask what sign they most frequently leave for their loved ones. So if some of you guys are not seeing some of these signals and synchronicities and symbols from spirit or from your ancestors or your angels and guides, ask them for more clarity on what that is for you. Because some of you guys may just not notice how many times you're seeing something. Some of you guys are not always here in the present moment to be able to receive the messages that spirit is trying to show you. So you need to one, practice getting more grounded. There's a lot of things that are gonna be happening in June and July. And if you're not grounded, this is gonna cause you to be in a lower vibration like anxiety, fear, worry, fight or flight mode. You don't want that. Cause a lot of people are gonna be freaking out in June or July, I'm telling you right now. It's May, spirit ain't playing no games. Y'all ancestors, y'all guides are no longer playing any games right now. Is get online, get activated, or get left behind. You do not want to be in a lower frequency, so we're going to prep you now, spirit is saying. Let's see. You have wheels of light. This is your chakras, so you want to start doing your chakra work. This is the wheel of light card. This is the Wheels of Light card, and these are all of your chakras. Patreon, this is why we have been working on our chakras, okay? We're actually going to work on 12 chakras, not even the seven main energy centers. Start eating those foods that I've been telling you guys for these certain chakras. You need to get these energetic bodies online. You need to get these Wheels of Light rotating in the right state of mind, so that way you're raising your frequency and vibration, and you can clear audiently clairvoyantly hear some of the messages that spirit is trying to show to you as humans we're continually seeking new sources of enlightenment often searched within one of the sacred locations all of the world <clears throat> you will soon realize that your body is also a temple 
We all have physical bodies as well as spiritual bodies. Within the spiritual body, there are energy centers known as chakras. Imagine them as beautiful wheels of moving spiritual light. During the early stages of your spiritual awakening, enlightenment, and activations, it is important to focus on your chakras. This will help you gain a deeper knowledge and understanding of the universal source within you. It's important that you learn to activate your chakras and how to balance them. A good practice to open up your chakras is to breathe into them one at a time, working your way up from the base to the sacral. For those of you who are not well versed on your chakras, we're just going to go through the names. And if you want to look more in depth about the chakras, there are so many educational videos here on YouTube and on my Patreon. We talk about them as well. Now, here we have the root chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. And this is what allows you to stay connected to this earthly realm. So you ain't really flying off somewhere or losing your mind. You really want this one to be balanced because it can cause certain fears, worries, anxieties, uh, stress, conditions that you do not want. So you want to make sure that that's online, that it's activated, and it's turning, and it's working. And to do that, a uh, beginning exercise you can do is breathe in a red light. Envision yourself breathing in a red light and sending it all the way there to the base of your spine. We're doing it out in the sun because the sun is masculine energy. The sun is also healing, grounding, touching the grass with your feet, connecting to Mother Earth as you were designed to. Number two, we have the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra rules the sexual organs of females. The root chakra rules the sexual center for males. So if you're having any sexual problems, dysfunctions, one, you need to check your Pluto placement on your natal chart and to make sure that you have cleansed your energy of the people in which you have had sex with so you're not still connected to them who may be connected to the other people creating spiritual stds as well as sexual stds okay protect your energy so you don't get the whomp okay now this is the solar plexus. The solar plexus is your creative center. A lot of you who have not understood what your life purpose is, it is because your solar plexus is blocked and unbalanced. So you want to get this one online. This is the heart chakra. Now the heart chakra is in the middle of the lower chakras and the higher chakra. So if this one off, everything is unaligned. I'm going to tell you that right now. You need to take care of your heart chakra. You need to allow yourself to heal because if that heart chakra is out of whack, out of balance, it will definitely cause other body parts and functions to shut down and not work as well. Leaving you very open to spiritual conditions as well as physical conditions. We have to watch out for both. This is a spiritual realm. Now, we also have here the throat chakra. Now, the throat chakra is typically unbalanced when you're doing a lot of lying. A lot of uh, verbal abuse. If you're not speaking up for yourself. You have to make sure that you're able to know who you are and stand firm in your truth and not let others tell you. You came down here with a voice for a reason so that you could speak up for yourself and up for others. So when you see people out here doing wrong, you let them know, okay? We have the third eye chakra, which is here. Now, this is where a lot of psychic abilities lay. This is where you are in tune with the energies that are around you. You can sense danger. You can sense other people. This is your psychic ability center. This is where you have a lot of uh, intuition and development. Then we have the crown chakra here, which is usually depicted as a purple color. <clears throat> your crown chakra is what keeps your connection to the divine if you are here on this planet you are connected to some sort of divinity whether that divinity is of a shadow or light aspect we have to understand that there is both in this world there's not just light there's dark there's not just dark there's light they work together they're intertangled we always got to deal with it there's always going to be some type of duality or polarity in the world we have to understand that there is no good or bad there just is to the universe and it is what it is okay 
and it's very important that you know what part of your divinity is being activated and how to activate it and if you do not know that i advise you to start with your ancestors as they are connected to you because you are them and they are you let me get one more message and then i will be doing more advanced messages on patreon today any more messages for the collective on how they can become aligned or in tune and how they can develop their abilities so you have soul guidance making time for activities that contribute to your spiritual growth and psychic development is not a sign of selfishness it is a necessity by doing so it will make you a better medium and have a major impact on your overall well-being and spiritual vitality you are a spiritual being okay understand Spend time to focus on your soul's needs. This will enable you to nurture yourself and expand your spiritual boundaries. Therefore, if you feel that you've always wanted to have lunch with someone at work but never made the effort, then make this week the time to ask. If you're drawn to call a relative whom you've not spoken to in a long time, then make that call. If you feel inspired to learn something new, then take a class or a workshop. Trust and follow your gut and use all your psychic senses. After doing this for one week, don't forget to journal your new discoveries or revelations that resulted by following your inner guidance. Allow transformation to happen to occur here in this crown chakra. Allow this energy to activate you. Allow you to have a spiritual knowing. Follow the guidance of your soul because your soul will lead you in the direction that you're supposed to be your soul knows exactly why it's here and what it's here to do but if you can't connect to your higher self you can't hear what your higher self is trying to say to you if anybody is here to guide you is you you came on this earth as a living breathing god or goddess you have the wisdom and intuition that you need to get through all things and create a better life for yourself but you have to follow the guidance of your soul all right Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And Patreon members, I will see you later.